it is the morning of grit initial module online training how's your morning been so far it's been good set up last night so i feel organized i'm excited a bit nervous but it's ner nervous excitement i'm just putting my socks on you so know? The, the the module starts at nine it's half yeah. eight now so what have you done to prep today Today has actually been quite nice. I have had a quite chilled morning. I got up, made my breakfast, had a shower, um, and yeah, just thinking positive thoughts and feeling good about the day ahead. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. And what did you do last night with your module participants? So last night we had a practice Zoom call, um, which was really great because it gave us a chance to connect, it gave us a chance to just practice using the platform so that hopefully when, when they jump on this morning for webinar one, they feel super confident about using all the functions for Zoom. Webinar one is this morning, so it's a two hour webinar. What is it all about? So webinar one, really we're just laying the foundations for the module. So we <clears throat> have coaches introductions, we go through what webinar one will, will be about. In fact, it's up there. So yeah, this is my this is my desk, this is my uh, training space. So yeah, we go over um, some intros, we overview the module, we start to look at the three key workout skills of Lesnar's Grit. We talk a bit about assessment and certification and we break down the workout notes, we talk about grit science and then we start to unpack what the coaching model looks like so we lay the foundations of that. Show them your studio light. Oh my studio light, watch this. I feel like a, a movie star. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Hollywood. <laughs> Did you buy that especially for the module? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is my daughter's bedroom so <laughs> yeah um, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Do the hand thing. Oh. <laughs> hey guys. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to unmute everybody. One, two, three. Hey guys! <laughs> Morning! Right, let me get this volume up so I can hear you all. This is the end of webinar one. So what's going on now? So just now the coaches are away practicing their allocated track, specifically their layer one setup cues, so their track introduction, and then saying and doing from the front, compulsory cues, uh, and filming themselves and self-reflecting. And I've noticed you are every now and then answering random questions. Yep, so within that hour, I'm still online on the Zoom platform, um, available to check in with any coaches that need to ask me any questions about the content that we covered this morning in webinar one mm -hmm. so it's been quite good we've had some coaches come back and engage and ask some questions about their track and a little hack to anyone any maybe trainers who might be delivering what we've also done is we have signed in on lindsay's phone so that means she can see it as a participant as well as the presenter up here, which just allows you to know where you are on the process. How are you finding that? It's good because it allows me to see what they see. Mm -hmm. um, because obviously when you're on uh, the, the Zoom platform on PowerPoint, you you can't see that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a good tip, actually. Mm. Do the hand thing. I'm just curious, is this the first dog you've ever had <laughs> on your module? Well, it is, yes. <laughs> this is different to your morning setup. Yes, so this is the, this is Studio 2. That was content room 1, which we, which we were in earlier. This is a Studio 2. Uh, so this is where I'm going to do the technique clinic, um, <clears throat> where we're going to go over all the strength-based move and moves in the workout, uh, and any release specific moves also. Um, and I'll probably do layer two coaching from this zone, uh, this area, or this studio, 
as well. So I've set up my smart bar, I've got the key moves up on the wall and I've got really specific moves. We've also set up another camera so that when we're running through technique, the instructors on Zoom will be able to see me from a front angle and then also see me from 45 degrees. Um, so hopefully giving them a real good experience uh, visually of what technique should look like. So for lunch, I went to the fridge. It was great, just got my food and um, I went to Starbucks as well. I miss the days where we can go for a coffee. Next movement is the clean and press. Catch high on the chest, hips back, knees bent, press overhead. Catch, release. Squat, catch, squat, release. Off you go. Keep the bar close to the body, chest up. Okay, have a look. When we do the clean and press, We've got two squat phases. So we squat to catch, and then we squat to catch. Okay? Nice one. Stop there, everyone. Great job. Day one done. Talk about it. Day one, what a day. Um, what do you want to talk about? Like. Module? Yeah. <laughs> Start again. Day one done. Day one done. Day one of Les Mills Grit Online um, Initial module training. Start again. Day one done. Yes, day one done of Les Mills Grit Online Initial Module Training. Murph was joining in at some points as well. <laughs> Little helper. Um, it was great. Uh, totally different, obviously, way of delivering content um, because we're not live face to face. We're just live via video streaming and uh, sharing PowerPoint presentations, but it was uh, a great day for all tired now. <laughs> I, I feel I've given it everything, energy's sapped, uh, so. Was there anything that online training has that maybe live training doesn't? In terms of, was there anything you were able to do more of? It's obviously restrictive because you're not with them. But was there anything, any advantages to that? Would have been a much better way of asking you that question. <laughs> I think in terms of the, the actual uh, educational content, so the, the the things that you learn in terms of the workout plan, coaching model, how that all works, how it's all layered together, I was able to spend much more time on that. Um, you know, obviously we do run a technique clinic, but we're not hands-on face-to-face. Mm -hmm. So you told me about the chat box. Yeah. Um, on Zoom, there's a chat box feature, which I was encouraging the coaches to use a lot to ask questions. I said, be curious, just ask questions. Um, and they were they were awesome. They were just rapid on that chat. Um, so compare that to a normal in-person live module. Do you think more questions were asked today via the chat box than in life? 100%. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I think it's it, you, well, you're you're in your own surroundings. You're in the comfort of your own home. You're comfortable. You feel in a safe place, um, and I guess you're you're by yourself. So you've not got that maybe that fear of judgment or the fear of being the first one to vocally say something mm -hmm. or always be that person that says it. Every, everybody weighed in and everybody got involved in the the chat function. So for me, I was over overjoyed with that. Um, and really happy with that that outcome. And can I guess, were they the same type of questions? Maybe just more of them? They were the same questions as per content, but what I tried to do was every now and again, stop and pause because, you know, me delivering the content for a long period of time, you know, I need to make sure that the coaches are getting the content and I need to know that they are understanding. So I would stop and pause and ask them in the chat box, give me a thumbs up, give me a yes, give me a high five, whatever it is to let me know that you are understanding this content. Oh, that was my knee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do the hand thing. Day two of the online module training. Yeah, welcome back to my house. <laughs> <laughs>
So what was their homework and what will they be doing this morning? The homework last night was to um, practice their track again, film themselves, self-reflect using the assessment form. So they're looking at their layer one setup and they're also looking at layer two. So the ability to get out and enhance technique uh, or improve technique and manipulate intensity and start to use those core coaching skills that we talked about yesterday. Today is all about, um, this webinar in particular, is uh, refining core coaching. Uh, we talk about Les Mills as a brand, as a company, the values, and we also go into um, some of the grip cardio movements in a technique clinic as well. Let me ask you this, how are you going to do floor coaching? <laughs> so they're going to floor coach me. Um, every coach will have the chance to come on camera, be off mute. Um, I will demo a move and then they will floor coach me via Zoom. So it should be really interesting to see how that goes. I think it's going to go really well. Um, but it just gives them that opportunity to get that real live interaction and, and real live kind of participant experience. To me, height and press the bar up over your head, keeping the elbows slightly forward at the top. Okay, Lindsay, that's good, but at the top, try not to overextend your elbows so you should be able to see your biceps at the side of your eyes at the top of the movement and get all the way down in the squat. That's gonna load the legs. Perfect, just like that. Well done. Is this how you would normally finish a module? Is it tough? Normally running for a train or a plane. Um, so it's nice to, to finish up and come outside in the comfort of your own home and debrief and chill out for a bit. So I know you're currently writing stuff up there or watching YouTube videos, debatable. <laughs> um, what way did the module finish that is different to a traditional in-person, in-club module? To be fair, it, it didn't finish much differently. The only difference was we weren't there in person to have the the module selfie. Uh, we just did that through the, the laptop. So um, that, that really didn't make any difference to how the module would finish. Still had the same feelings of you, you feel really connected to the people that are in your group, the instructors that you're training, and you kind of don't want the module to end. It was sad saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. And then just to put you on the spot, just for a second, what are the instructor's next steps? Because they don't pass or pass pend on the weekend as they would a traditional mm -hmm. in-person module. Mm -hmm. um, so the next step for them are they've now got up to five days to submit their allocated track for assessment. So to send that through to me, I'll watch it back, give them feedback and their outcome, whether it's pass or pass pending. And then maybe just collectively as a group, how was that information received? Because that would be new to a lot of existing Les Mills instructors who have maybe done modules before. Um, so I guess the advantage of doing your training online is that you have that additional five days to practice what you've learned um obviously not being in a live setting you don't have the opportunity to teach to a trainer for feedback you self-review and film yourself and self-assess so um yeah it's nice for them to have that little extra little bit of time to practice and put into um action the skills that they've they've learned i answer this honestly mm -hmm. At any point during this module, <laughs> did you present in your jammies? <laughs> no, I did think about it. I thought, oh, <laughs> see, on, on day one, I just had my sock, not just my socks on. That sounds really weird. <laughs> Camera off, just socks on. Uh, I had obviously, obviously my, kit off, my kit on, but I didn't have trainers on, which actually felt weird. So for me, even though it's at home, I still need to have on my uniform so to speak because it gets me in the right headspace and gets me in that that mode of educating my jammies any final words about online initial module training 
it was definitely a, a whole new experience for me um, and a whole new experience for the coaches that were on the training but we worked together uh, we really embraced it and you know we we just had a good time it was just super fun um, and even though we weren't face to face still felt connected to them through the content and through the, the kind of online classrooms that we had.